Hello, hello, hello! Welcome to the third episode of the Second Life Tip of the Week. I, of course, am your host, Torley Linden. Hello. <laughs> I'm hanging out here at Harry Linden's Island. It's a nice place to chillax. And today I'll be showing you some tips on how to use the Second Life user interface better. All these buttons and menus and various controls so you have greater confidence being in world. Now, all these tips, they have sort of a theme of, they might not be the most obvious, but they're pretty easy to use. And after you utilize them, you'll be like, hey, I wish I knew that earlier, which is why I'm here to help you accelerate that process. First off, you know when you open a window, many of the windows, they have this minimize button, right? And of course, like in a standard operating system, if you close it, minimizes it. But did you also know that recently we added the ability, so not only can you minimize, but if you think it's cluttering, for example, it can get in the way of the chat overlay. If you think it's too cluttery, you can move it, move it out of the way, move it somewhere where it's not going to be obtrusive and you notice it's going to snap too. And if you want to expand, you expand. And when you minimize it, or even if you close it, and say next time you open it and you want to minimize it, it is going to remember that position, which is pretty handy. Do, do, do. So that is really useful for, of course, saving space. If you have a lot of windows piling up, various sorts of windows, you have a map, right? That, that, that. Whoop. Let me just, oh, that was already there. See, now you can have clear view, and they will snap to each other. Click, see? and click so you have your menus right there. Isn't that nice? <laughs> close, close, close. Oh, and just one thing of note before we continue, because the build window, there is a bug. If you minimize it and try to move it around, it's gonna exhibit these, it's gonna show what it's not supposed to show. We should fix that. But anywho, going on, and here's another one I like to get into quickly. You know when you right click, you see this, this pie menu, because it's got like these wedges and slices. Okay, normally if you, just click and release, it'd be stick, you know, and it shows the, the edges. But if you hold down the button next time, hold down the right mouse button, notice how the edges are faded. That means you can activate any command by simply releasing the button. You don't have to click again. So click and hold the right mouse button, select an option, and release. Doesn't take two clicks, just takes you one. And if you're really fast like this, it saves you a lot of time and trouble in the long run. Think of all those clicks and how they add up. Do you work with textures or snapshots a lot or simply have a lot of windows open in general? Well, if you're like me, you'll find this site very familiar where you're trying to drag and uh, manage and you think to yourself, okay, I can start closing one by one, but wait, there is a better way. File menu and you can close all windows. Just have a window in focus right here and then that will be enabled. Now you can also use a shortcut, which is what I prefer. Keyboard shortcuts, use them whenever you can because one hand can operate the mouse, the other hand can operate the keyboard. So you get double strength that way. <laughs> so, Control Shift W is what it is, right? Watch this. If I want to unclutter, Control Shift W. And it's all gone with a thunk like that. Just cleans off your screen, you don't have to relog. It's really, really handy. Zing, zing, zing. <laughs> if you have to juggle instant messages and your screen looks something like this, I can totally relate. And that's why you'll notice if you hover over anyone, it'll say Alt Left Arrow for previous tab, Alt Right Arrow for next tab, respectively. And notice how fast you can do it with the keyboard shortcuts. You can even sustain and hold down. It's much faster than trying to fumble and click with the mouse button. I guess you could do that. If you click and hold, by the way, that's another thing you can do. If you click and hold a tab, you can also scroll through them a lot quicker, but sometimes you just want to make use of both hands. And there is a bug I do know about. For example, if you tab into the contacts tab, then you'll find that it tabs between these two, but it can't get out of it. So we hope to rectify that. In the meantime, just enjoy that. So now that you know these tips, we can gladly go strolling off to a very clear water, underwater, <laughs> bloop, bloop, bloop. <laughs> So, I'd like to thank you graciously for watching this episode of Second Life Tip of the Week, and we'll be back next week with number four. And what would you like to see? I'm very open to feedback. Please send me. You can send me an email at torley at lindenlab.com or leave a comment. I'd love to hear from you, and I hope you have a most marvelous day. <laughs> Take care, and bye-bye for now.